Welcome back to Marathon Kill Them All. I am Admin 1 of any effects, and we are on the very last level called the Final Sacrifice. This one is pretty intense, because as I mentioned at the end of the last video, there are no save points past this one. Why is it freezing? Okay. And there are no shield sources past what I just picked up either. So I have to make these two layers of shields last me the entire level. So I'll probably die at least once in this video. But so be it. I've beaten it before. I can beat it again. Try a different way to start the level, but it's not really working out. Try again. Okay, it wasn't the best, but it can be doable. the end of that one. The main issue with this level is the first wave, because there's not really a reliable way to kind of rush out and avoid getting hit by the bullets, but there's not much space back here to dodge the grenades. So it seems like, to an extent, how you do at the beginning sets the tone, in a way, for how you do for the rest of the level. Still, while prospects aren't great, there is still a chance for me to win this way. First, I was wondering why the hunters were so fragile there, but then I realized the juggernaut exploded right next to where they were, so they were already damaged. There we go. Now for these ones here. See if I can lure them into end fighting at all. Yep, there we go. Okay. It's taken care of. I previously tried for experimenting sake. Uh, kind of running through all the different battles to see if I can lure them into end fighting, but that just wasn't doable, at least for me. some more over there. Pick up these clips. You should rely more on them in fighting. <laughs> that worked. Excellent. Still no damage sustained. Oh. Where do they come from? I guess they came out of here. There's no, oh, the fuck? That was scared. Where did that come from? That's so strange. Alright, well, there's some fighters in here. I'm just going to run past them for now. I'll deal with them later. on one at a time, try to be as efficient as possible in uh, detonating them all. Excellent. That did it. Now, here's the next most intense battle, 
I think. It's a juggernaut coming my way. Along with these. It's uh, gonna sink below that top yellow ceiling soon. Pretty doable. I mainly just have to struggle around like this, but and then uh, hold off on fire when I get too close. Fuck! Got caught on an outcrop of the wall. There we go. That's taken care of. Now then, it lowers the elevator. When I get back up, there will be more troopers waiting for me. Okay, that's taken care of. Now, some more food unleashed down there. I think here, the lamp get broken. Bunch of enemies, they kind of cropped over there for some reason. I don't know if I can uh, lure them out at all. Get them to fight each other. Yeah, looks like it's too hard that way. <laughs> They're breaking more of the lamps. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna make this easy. <laughs> all right. Still have one full rocket set left. I won't lose it yet. Looks like I'm done, but I have one more fight to go. That's another one of those false exits. Once I step onto that platform, a bunch of compilers will spawn. And then I'll go over here, they'll eventually meet me around here, and I'll have plenty of room to dodge. Plus I'll have one set of rockets left. The main issue is that many of them will be invisible, so I'll really have to watch out. In fact, maybe I shouldn't even bother doing it that way. Let's see. Okay, I'll just... Oh shit, I forgot the instructors. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I forgot about the two fucking cyborgs. See, now I have to do all that shit all over again. See, the mistake I made was that I even bothered linking with a rocket launcher. I should have just made my break. I think that's the idea of this map. The last time I beat this map, I knew to go back to that area I was in immediately. Then that way the cyborgs couldn't trap me in. But that way, you know, the idea I think is that the cyborgs surprise you, so then you jump down into the area where the compilers are and you have to face two different barrages of enemies. And that's usually the death trap. Okay. Seem to be uh, hitting each other. Okay. 
Thank you for your service. Okay. Now for this part again. Grab these again. drops down from above. the juggernaut again. deal with these troopers again. Some more SMG ammo. This time I'm gonna do this right. In fact, if anything, I'm just gonna use the rockets on the fucking cyborgs. Okay. One down. One down. All right. Compilers are all migrating over here. From here, I just have to circle around. And uh, secondary fire my way through them. Okay. Give it a chance. Projectiles a chance to. Uh, Reach the wall, come back out. Is that it? We're out of here. Now, this is the real last level. I get the feeling we're being. Oh, fuck. Okay, that was a close one. I get the feeling we're being trolled. 
apparently Douche Tower made this one. And this is all the level is. Just step onto there and we're out. We did it, everyone. We finally made it through the entirety of Marathon Kill Them All. I really love this pack. And I would not rule out eventually revisiting it in some way. Not for like a regular playthrough like I would normally do, but maybe something to the effect of speed running or <clears throat> sorry, even doing just uh, single levels without taking damage or something like that. We'll see. And I've been inspired to possibly uh, do that sort of thing by XC slash Dis with some of his uh, very impressive Kill Them All videos. Check out his channel if you haven't already. That's XEEXY. He has some really impressive Kill Them All videos. But I shall continue this marathon train and keep it rolling. I have plenty of time left for my allotted time for today to marathon, so why don't we just go back to bot match? Anyway, that wasn't too bad. I played through that uh, second to last level, I should say, or last proper level, as it were, the final sacrifice. What should I play through next for bot match? There's so many different things. Let's see about Coca Cola Factory by Douche Tower. Once again, Fusion, SMG, and Rocket Launcher. Wouldn't it have been funny if I ended up dying at the very last level? The, I get the feeling we're being trolled one. I've never died at level before. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh I guess it's not meant to be. It's too bad. Pretty sure I had all the preferences right. Check again. Yep. Well, I'll just try something else. How about Poenadir's Maps of Pain? Where is it? Here it is. We get started with the Great Train Robbery. It even has a title screen. Uh oh, it seems to be bugged to where there's only fist guys. <laughs> yeah, this isn't really cut out for bot match, I don't think. But I do know one app that is good for it, Concavex Arena. What? Normally it works. Today it's just not cooperative. One more time. Okay, it works this time. If I could get a clear shot, that'd be great. Maybe a good vantage point to go from up here without someone there to kill me. Seems like that'd be the ideal way for these uh, arena matches, especially because uh, they're frozen like this. Damn it, they keep dying before I can do that. squirrely to get with the pistols. Ah. 
Here we go. A new die. Oops, slipped into that, but it saved my life if only for a second. I think this is a pretty good way to celebrate finishing the Kill Them All playthrough. I'm surprised I even lasted that long. That's chaos. Then again, maybe it's a bit easier at the start. When everyone's too distracted with each other to bother with you, statistically. Oh, this is cool. It's kind of like it's a like gladiator right now. A lot of people pile in to watch the show. Only you're using it to your advantage. It's part of an environmental thing. Not hit. Kill one. All right, kill two. Doing good so far. What's this terminal here? Is it accessible? Maybe it is via some secret. Aha. <laughs> yeah, like I'm gonna read all that. I'll do when I'm not busy fragging. That's cool though. with the uh, pistol there.
What do I post something like nine or ten points in three minutes? This is a good one. They're all good. It's a nice little uh, timing challenge there. Get to the one shot kill opportunity before the rapid fire kill finishes. Oh, the uh, teleportation. No, just an elevator. Be funny if I just met my doom right as I reach the top. The Sisyphean elevator. This okay, that works at least. That was pretty easy, actually. Oh, excellent. Suicide is still good. Fuck did I not dodge? It's pretty handy to have. Oh man, almost hit the guy that time. So we got two and one. The second rocket. Well, nine points, three minutes. How about this one? That's not the one I'm thinking of. It wasn't this one either, but I think this is good to play as well. Just hit that one before it could die from being stuck. Try I shudder to think. This is the one, yes. I'd had trouble with this one before, because it was really hard to get to the weapons in time before getting blasted. Oh, that's right. I keep thinking those were teleporters, but it's just these uh, bathroom teleporters. ones. Yeah, now I'm beginning to remember why it felt miserable. Because I never get to do anything.
How the fuck did that fish guy not die? I think I'll do this one another time. That's one of the more challenging ones to do on bot match. But I remember this one being pretty good. Goran's net pack. Remember these maps tend to have a pretty unique lighting. It's the one I'm thinking of. But it's one of these. It's actually a pretty dark one. The sewer level. It wasn't this one either, though I do have some fond online memories of this one. Maybe it wasn't. This is the one, actually, yes. Hear a lot of uh, sewer related ambient noises. It's nice little uh, encampment buildings. There's uh, assault rifles nearby, and it's a canvas you start out in. Finally, I can recharge too. There we go, finally killed my target. <laughs> that was kind of cool. There we go. Now, what the fuck? Well, anyway, seven points in three minutes. Well, I'm done for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see what I do next. I'm thinking of doing the J. Christopher Huddy scenarios pretty soon, as those are pretty short, it's pretty interesting and funny course. But whatever is coming up next, it won't be long, I'm pretty sure of that. Until then, thanks for watching. Bye.